After putting up the eighth worst defense against the pass, the Minnesota Vikings took it upon themselves to go all in loading up with corners. They signed Patrick Peterson. After spending a year in Cincy, they brought back Mackenzie Alexander. They signed Ty Smith, but I'm not so sure that he's going to make the team. And they also signed most recently Bashad Breeland, who has incredible upper body control with his arm extension. However, the ball is being thrown. He does a good job maintaining balance in his torso to make plays on the ball, especially in midair. Add those signings with Cam Dantzler, Harrison Hand, and Chris Boyd, and you may very well have six legit corners. And that's without factoring in Jeff Gladney, who may potentially not be available this season or perhaps ever again, depending how his case goes. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, too. To have a cornerback group this deep, normally you sub in a second-string guy for a play or two, or if it's no huddle and you have no timeouts, an entire series. Oh, shit. Just don't be too big of a disaster. You go from that to where, no, we actually have the luxury to sub in guys for the sake of presenting different looks to opposing offenses instead of, hey, this cornerback's tired. Let's bring in CB4. Now, Bashad Breeland, he talked about how he's here to compete for a starting job, which I get. But when I first saw that, I said to myself, all right, the Vikings gave a nice chunk of money to Patrick Peterson. Bashad Breeland, he's not taking Patrick Peterson's spot. Mac, he's the slot guy. Are we really talking about Bashad Breeland taking over Cam Dantzler's starting job? Which I hope not because we're talking about a guy who had a strong finish to the 2020 season. You can't go from saying, all right, you were a starter your rookie year out of Mississippi State to saying, guess what's going to happen now? If you want this guy to develop, you need to give him starting reps to say, all right, now we're going to drop you in your second season. We're going to drop you to CB4. You can't do that. And considering Patrick Peterson, he's on a one-year deal. Who's to say you keep him beyond next season unless he transitions to safety? Bashad Breeland, he's also on a one-year deal. Cam Dantzler, he's your guy. And considering your 2020 draft class, Ezra Cleveland, unless he bulks up and adds size to his frame to effectively play inside the offensive line, and with potentially Cam Dantzler taking a back seat in 2021, to then say if you're unable to keep Bashad Breeland and Patrick Peterson in 22, never mind, Cam, you're a starter again. Justin Jefferson, he's great. But after that, I just feel like with this draft class in 2020, the Vikings are creating unnecessary, may potentially be creating unnecessary challenges for themselves. Ezra Cleveland, the nail is in the coffin. He's playing left guard. That's my only concern. Obviously, we have a ways to go before the depth chart is official and listed. But on the surface level, the secondary is deep as hell. This defense has the potential to replicate 2017. They really, really have that potential. We'll see. Next video is on Wednesday. We'll see you then.